A man who drives a church van is accused of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old fellow member of his congregation. The case caught the attention of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen is live at the district courthouse in Glen Burnie where the suspect appeared before a judge today. Mike? Vic, his wife and three young children were also in the courtroom as the judge read off the sensitive details of these allegations. Now, police have not identified any other victims, but they are concerned tonight. A judge held Jose Arqueta without bond, saying he's a danger to the community. He's accused of having sexual contact with his co-worker's 13-year-old daughter multiple times and recording some of the sex acts on his phone. Police say Arqueta drove a church van and took the victim's family to their church. That's how he first made contact with the victim. According to charging documents WJZ obtained, Arqueta began texting the 13-year-old, calling her Mia Amor, then sent messages asking her to meet him outside her home in Annapolis. That's where, on several occasions, he's accused of sexually assaulting the victim. He was a 44-year-old married man preying on a 13-year-old girl, the prosecutor said in court. Arqueta's attorney had little to say about his client. Listen, I really know nothing about it. You know, so there's nothing I can add. Arqueta came from El Salvador to Maryland, where he's lived for 13 years, the last eight on Old Stage Road in Glen Burnie. Arqueta's attorney would not comment on his client's immigration status, but in court, we learned Immigration and Customs Enforcement issued a hold on him. Arqueta faces a maximum of 149 years in prison. And this investigation is still ongoing. Yeah, definitely. You know, in cases like this, there's a lot of um, evidence that needs to be gone through. I spoke to Annapolis police on FaceTime about their concern you know, regarding potential other victims. We need to err on the side of caution, especially when children are involved, and we just want to make sure that information's out there so that any victims that feel will come forward to report something. And police tell us they're also doing outreach at the church that both the defendant in this case and the victim attended. Reporting live in Glen Burnie, Mike Helgren, WJZ.